Hi, I'm Barb Pearson from White Flower Farm. We're here today in Chrissy DeSopo's garden in Avon, Connecticut to show you all the gardening techniques she uses effectively. The first thing we're going to talk about is evergreens. They provide texture, they're permanent elements in your garden. We're going to show you how she does it. Then we're going to show you her formal kitchen garden. It's a simple plan, beautifully executed. The third thing we're going to talk about is ornamental grasses. She has an oasis of ornamental grasses that's really contained, really looks beautiful. Then she has an exciting waterfall of color that goes down the hillside. We're going to show you how she created that. And the last thing we're going to talk about is how she uses containers creatively in her garden. You'll be impressed. You can see how Chrissy uses evergreens effectively in her garden by combining the camisiparis that has a wonderful frilly texture with the pyramidal shape of the dwarf Alberta spruce. She takes this combination and she repeats it throughout her garden, giving a nice harmonious pattern, but also giving her the ability to add bright colors effectively without it looking dissonant. So she has leucanthemum here, she has monarda, daylilies, and they're all different colors. She keeps repeating that pattern of gold and green, and it looks beautiful. I'm here in Chrissy's kitchen garden. She's designed it as a formal potager with four quadrants, and her pathways are edged in bricks. So you can see the bricks lead to a center element, in this case, a twig tower that her husband built for her. It's beautiful, and it's covered with morning glories. In the four quadrants, we have things such as raspberries, cucumbers, and then lettuce and peppers and tomatoes. So everything's lined out in full sun so that the vegetables get plenty of air circulation. That's really important for disease control. This is Chrissy's ornamental grass oasis. She has Penicetum and Miscanthus all planted together, creating a beautiful vase shape. And it's really smart because she's combining the ornamental grasses and keeping them contained within a bed so they're not overtaking other plants in her garden. And then to edge them, she's used daylilies and impatience in pots. So she doesn't have to bed her impatience into the ground. She just takes her pots of impatience and places them around with daylilies as edging. It's a beautiful oasis of grasses that will come back every year. We have Chrissy's River of Chartreuse here that she created with Lysimachia aurea. It's a great ground cover. It has beautiful texture, a bright chartreuse color. The leaves are scalloped, so they have texture as well as color. She, and she combines it with ajuga here. And the ajuga has burgundy in it. So she takes chartreuse and burgundy as ground covers. They're gonna fill in together. They'll be low maintenance. She won't have to weed it. It's a beautiful combination. Chrissy uses containers in a lot of creative ways here in her garden. An interesting thing she did when building her garden is they cleared some trees, but they actually left the stumps and they left them at different heights so she can put containers on them. Um, this container, for example, is just a pomia. So she has sweet potato vine cascading over and it almost looks like a small tree and it's on top of a tree that was cut down. Throughout her garden, she has different columns of trees that have been cut off at different heights, and she puts containers on top. Really creative and gives a gorgeous look to her hillside. Chrissy DeSopo's garden here in Avon, Connecticut is filled with inspiration for all of us. As you can see, it took many years to develop this garden but we hope that the five design elements that we highlighted today will be things that you'll try in your garden. I know I'm filled with inspiration to try some new color combinations. She's not afraid to combine colors. We hope you're not either.